Okay, hi everyone. Um, today is a little bit different video. I just came from work and it was an amazing day. But I got home and I have an email from Australian Embassy and with the decision if I got my visa to stay in Australia or not. So I don't know if you know but I came to Australia two years ago and I was actually born in Croatia and then I met my husband in Croatia while he was playing soccer. He was actually Croatian but born in Australia and he lived here all his life. Then he decided to move to Croatia to play soccer and that's how we actually met in Croatia. Then you know how it, how it is with soccer, like you get a contract, you have to move, then you get another contract, you have to move again and you move all the time. So he got a really good contract in Australia and we decided to come back because it was too hard for us to maintain our relationship and it was really hard because it was very long distance, not just long distance, like Australia and Croatia, it's totally opposite. Uh, and we did for a few months, but then we just like, we couldn't be bothered anymore. Like it was just getting a little bit hard. And once you like, you, when you get older, you're more impatient. You just want to settle down and you just want to like kind of be with that person every day and share your life with them. With Australian visa, it's actually really hard to get and it's really challenging. The whole process is very, very hard because Australia is an amazing country and like I think people that live here, they don't really know what they have. It's just like a massive privilege to be in this country. And I had to go through a few visas, few processes um, to get where I am today and this is the almost final step this is a email that will tell me if i'm allowed to stay in the country temporary or not and that means i have all the rights kind of like australian citizen but i don't have australian passport that's the next step after this temporary visa and we've been really working hard on these visas people think oh it's so easy you just get married and you get your papers no it's not it's actually not it's actually very hard to get your visa it doesn't matter if you're married or not they will still go through the process that is very complicated and complex and they will still go through all these checkups all this paperwork all that stuff i can even film a video about our visa journey once if you want uh, but this is just a quick video i just want to open this email that i got uh, in front of the camera and just like share with you what it's gonna be i'm so scared so let's see the subject of the email is decision nothing else so when i open it <laughs> i'm shitting myself okay Like, it can't be bad. Like, I did everything right. The main thing is like that you stick to Australian law and that you do the right thing. You just have to stick to the rules and yeah, that's it. But I'm so scared. Anyway, like it should, it can't be bad. Like, I don't know. I went through a, like um, a medical examination, all these tests, blood tests, x-ray. Um, like your history of medical conditions, like everything, literally everything. And everything's been good, like I'm, I'm healthy. It shouldn't be bad, it shouldn't be bad, but like still it's a massive thing for me. Like I wanna stay here with my husband. I wanna build a family here. I wanna build my future here. Like it's a massive thing for me.
because I'm sad I'm crying because I am actually so happy I'm so relieved like this is the best Christmas present ever I don't need anything in my life at the moment like nothing never ever again I'm just so thankful and so grateful for this opportunity because it's so hard to get visa here and it means so much it means so much because I just started building something here and would be a disaster if I didn't get it like oh my god this is so good hug my husband now but he's working by the way like I had an amazing day at work me and my boss we sat down we like discussed new things for new year we have new goals like we are so pumped I'm so happy at the moment like and then this visa and then it's the last day of work for everyone for this year my husband's finished with work and the holidays are officially starting today like literally now I got I got this email after work like what are the chances everyone's finishing with work now and I get an email like literally last half an hour of work and I open and I can't I can't this is so good oh my god I'm so grateful I'm so thankful I'm so happy like I, I can't even say like I'm just so grateful thank you God so much Sometimes in life, we just have to be patient, trust the process, pray to God, like believe in His plan and just, that's it. Like the, you can't do anything else. You just have to trust the process and believe in God's plan and timing. Waking up in the morning, doing the right thing, working hard, like meeting new people and just like, I don't know, just the faith, faith and my amazing supportive family got me through the whole process and my amazing agent too like I still can't believe it I'll, I'll have to see it one more time oh my god congratulations I love that word congratulations I'm so excited I'm so excited for the future and I just got paid a new email I just got paid this is amazing like this is what how you want to finish the year this is how you want to finish the week god's plan and that's what i can say that's it like it's meant to be it's meant to be i'm meant to be here and thank you god for like i don't know whatever so i talk too much anyway i just really wanted to share this with you guys and to to show you that there is always hope there is always why you have to do some things and to stay calm and to uh, to be patient and trust in God's timing that's the key that's the key be patient trust in God's timing and his plan because what's meant to be will be and that's it that's that's it just keep going guys but keep keep pushing if it's something meant to be the doors will open this wide and just like keep on smashing keep on doing things and you'll get there you'll get there you're gonna have it and just like believe in believe just believe and have faith that's it my husband's calling me <laughs> i have to go